Oh, last of the grog. Never enough. Never enough to make me forget. Darkness up from the depths.
Goes there. Come closer so that I can see you. Come in, Parker. I have a job for you, a job of the utmost urgency. Will you accept it? I am glad of your assistance, Parker. There is a most pressing matter that needs our joint attention. I have not been entirely honest with you with regards to the island known as Fetch Rock. You were right to suspect there is a lighthouse based out at sea, but I could not tell you of it. A mild deception. There is often bad talk of the lighthouse in this town. I did not wish for you to encounter the superstitious nature of some of the townspeople. They can be most unpleasant when Fetch Rock enters conversation. Some believe the island to be cursed or even haunted. Even I now suspect there is more to that island than meets the eye. The lighthouse was built by myself and men from the town back in 1890 to prevent the loss of life on the Whipside Sands. Over these last 22 years, that lighthouse has claimed more lives and caused more misery than can possibly be imagined by an untroubled man such as yourself. I fear that tonight has brought the worst news of all. A ship, the Reboss, passed by Fetch Rock this very night and observed that the lamp of the lighthouse was not lit. No sign of life nor light was visible from the vessel. The fog is thick tonight and carries an unnatural chill. The lighthouse keepers would never allow such misadventure as to not warn the passing ships.
Oliver Drake, James Wolfe, and Robert Shaw are currently employed to man the lighthouse. All three men are of sound mind and spirit. You must travel to the lighthouse. A small boat has been prepared. You will need a few items from your cottage, which I'm sure will be of use. Search around for them. Once you have them, you will be able to board the vessel and set off on your voyage. You get me wrong, young Parker. I only wish to keep our mission secret. There are those in these town who suspect the worst. They must not know of this latest development. Keep to the shadows and let no one interrupt your business. Now go. The fate of three men may be in your hands. Both three men dwell upon the island to keep the lamp alight. As we steered under the lee, we caught no glimmer in the night. A passing ship at dawn had brought the news, and quickly we set sail to find out what strange thing might ail the keenness of the deep sea light. We found no sign in any place, and soon again stood face to face before the gaping door, and stole into the room once more as frightened children steal. I though we hunted high and low, and hunted everywhere. Of the three men's fate, we found no trace of any kind in any place, but a door ajar, and an untouched meal, and an overtoppled chair. We seemed to stand for an endless while, though still no word was said. Three men alive upon the isle, who fought on three men. 